वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन सो टूडे इज द लेक्चर इज फॉर द सब्जेक्ट रीजनिंग एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द टॉपिक विच इज आर्टिफिशियल लैंग्वेज दिस इज योर चैप्टर नंबर फिफ्टीन एंड दिस इज योर लेक्चर नंबर वन सो इन दिस होल लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट वट आर्टिफिशियल लैंग्वेज एंड वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अराउंड फाइव क्वेश्चन अबाउट आर्टिफिशियल लैंग्वेज मूविंग टूवर्ड्स द वेरी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच इज हेयर The question number one says, here are some words translated from artificial language. So these are, this is the artificial language which is given there, and it is how it is translated, right? So the first word is golfer, which means fan belt. Now here we need to understand that these are the two words which are given here, which is fan and belt, and the first word is golfer. So you need to understand that golf is stands for fan and fler. For belt, right? So this is how we are going to solve the whole question. The next is pick and golfer, that is ceiling fan, earth tussle, that is tile roof. Now what they are saying is the whole question is that which word could mean ceiling tile. Now what we have to see here is that from these words, from the artificial language which is given here, which all word is going to make this word, right? So if you If we start from the very first word, then you will understand. As I said, the gulp is fan and the flur is belt. In the next word, if you can see, it is written picks. That means that is ceiling and fan is again gulp. As from the first word, you can check it, right? The last word is earth tussle, which means tile roof. That means earth means tile and tussle means roof. Now checking the options which are given here. the very first option means that golf tussle which would be fan roof right flur golfer that would be belt fan right and the earth flur is going to mean tile belt the last one is pixel art now pix again we know that pix stands for ceiling and earth stands for tile so the last one pix art is the right answer the next question is here are some words again translated from artificial language the first one is helpless which means cloud burst scrunch cot ball uh resbon wrench which means nine pine right now again the same thing we have to you know we have to come up come up with this art with the with this word which is cloud 9 right which means artificial language now if we check here again what we have to do is we have to check the words which are given here so first word is our cloud and so we have to find what cloud does mean right the very first one which you see that is help help means cloud right so from the options you can check that a does not have help first b again there is no help in it so c and d are left with we are left with these two options right the next point the next word here is nine so from here we can see that resbors is does means nine because nine pine is written here so again option number d would be the answer for question number Two. Sec. Third question is now again the same thing. Agnosrenia means poisonous spider. Again, delno screnia means poisonous snake. Now here you can see that screnia and crenia, the two words which are given here, does means poison and poisonous, right? Though it is just given opposite. it is written in a opposite way see as i just told you that artificial language can be used in any particular manner they can just used in this manner also right the other word can mean the this thing the first word right so it can be used in any other form in any way so it depends on how they have just written it in here and accordingly we are going to answer it the next one is agnodary which means brown spider now we have to come up with a word which means black widow spider now here as i said in the first thing that screnia means poisonous so we doesn't mean screnia anywhere right 
what we need is we need to have this word which is known which is your spider now from here you might have understood see brown spider is agnodary right and then we are just saying that poisonous spidery, uh, spider is agnoscrenia that means spider does means agno which is written here now again come to the options which are given here now you'll understand these are the two words where agno is written fine so option a is discarded option d is discarded we are going with option b and c now understanding the second word that is spider now if we check it properly then we'll understand that you know here we are not talking here we are talking about snake right so it cannot be the one right so what we are going to do scrania poisonous fine spider is igno so that is why the answer for this question will be c1 okay moving towards the next question that is our question number 4 now again going through the question it is mulogren means blue sky milkospidy means bicycle race then again molo wiggle co means blue bicycle now we have to come up with a word which mean race car right so again checking all these then you'll understand that blue right is a can be discarded at as at as it is molo that means c is not the option anymore fine then now they are saying that speedy from here you can see the speedy means race right so there are two words two options in which speedy is written that is b and d so we are again discarding point number a also so now we will be talking about b and c now if you see here that race car is here now wilco means bicycle right wilco means bicycle that means this option is also discarded here so the correct answer for question number 4 will be d the next question and the last one is mingling lesson is cup bird right lesson peon that means board walk cup cupidasana that means pullman now we have to come up with a word which just means walk way now walk is given here also with board with lesson peon so that means walk means peon right now checking here we'll see that option a and option d are the only two options where we can see walk or peon which is written here now we'll be coming up with the word way now megan is not megan is written here megan means cup so this is discarded and we are just left with point number option number d so that is the answer for this question thank you and have a nice day